because we will be broadcasting the game. TV3 will, repeat, will air Friday night's first round NC2A playoff game between Ole Miss and Kansas beginning at 7 o'clock live from Wichita. One more time now, 7 o'clock Friday, TV3 will broadcast live the Ole Miss-Kansas game from Wichita. WLBT has also made arrangements with the NCAA and NBC to broadcast all of Ole Miss's games in the tournament. In short, as long as the Rebels last, whether it's in Wichita, New Orleans, or Philadelphia, TV3 will carry the game live. As everyone knows by now, it was a great SEC tournament featuring a rash of talented players. Here's how the all-tournament team looked with my ballot listed beside it. I agree with my colleagues on old Mrs. Turner and Tui, and you'd have to be blind not to vote for Dominique Wilkins of Georgia. Here's where we differed. The majority liked LSU's Howard Carter and Al Miller of Vandy. I thought Florida freshman Vernon Delancey was spectacular, and LSU's Rudy Macklin was his usual talented Itself. The sensational Dominique got the nod as the tourney MVP, but I thought there was someone more deserving, though certainly not as stupendous as Wilkins. Junior point guard Sean Tui did everything you could ask a player to do. Tui repeatedly registered timely baskets, shooting 68% from the field during the tournament. The New Orleans native hit four of five against Tennessee, three of four against Vandy, and four of eight against Georgia. Tui also dished off a whopping 21 assists in the three games. But Tui's most impressive accomplishment in the tournament was what he didn't do. In the Ole Miss offense, Tui handles the ball far more than any other player, yet he committed just six turnovers in three games. Games. And all that done while playing 116 minutes out of a possible 120. A sterling performance that puts Sean Tui way above the crowd in a very talented field.